Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how you can manually update your Nexus 5 to Android 5.0 Lollipop. This is using the exact same over the air file that would be used as if it was pushed to your device using an over the air update. So it's the official one so you'll get future over the air updates etc. Uh, it will not wipe any data either. Uh, you will need to be on Android 4.4.4, a specific build actually. Uh, you'll need to be on KTU84P for this to work. Um, so once you are on KTU84P and your stock, you need to have stock recovery as well. So th this is for the people that have been waiting, didn't want to do a factory reset, flash the factory images. Just been waiting for that over the air. Um, it might take a little while to get to your device so you can manually install it via ADB commands now. So what we need to do is go ahead and get into recovery. So go ahead and power off your device. You're also gonna need to download a file. I'll link to that in the description. It'll be the update zip file. So make sure you download that as well because uh, that's gonna allow you to update it. So we need to have that on our computer. So power this down. Also while you're doing that, download that file. You also will need the ADB tools set up on your computer. I have a tutorial video showing you how you can do that. It's not that difficult, so I'll link to that as well in the description if you haven't set those up. So now once you have the ADB tool set up on your computer, that file downloaded, and our phone off, you need to put our phone into the recovery mode actually. So press and hold volume down and the power button. This is gonna take us into the bootloader. Now using the volume keys to navigate, press volume down until it says recovery mode, and press the power button. That's gonna take us into recovery mode. Again, this is not wiping any data. You do not have to worry about that. Um, and it'll take you to this screen. Press uh, volume down and power button at the same time, I believe. Maybe volume up and power button at the same time. Uh, this screen's always a little tricky. Um, let's see. Just try and, uh, essentially what I end up doing is uh, a bunch of button combinations till the screen shows up. Sorry about this. All right, so back in this screen, um, volume up, volume down, power. I, on the Nexus 10, volume down and power work just fine, apparently. Okay, so I pressed the power button first and then press volume up and it showed up. So you can try that. Otherwise, just press a bunch of buttons till this screen comes up, you'll see Android system recovery. Uh, what we're gonna need to do now is use the volume keys to navigate again and uh, highlight where it says apply update from ADB. Press the power button. It's gonna take us to this screen where it shows this. Now send the package you want to apply to the device. You can plug our device in now at the moment. So plug it on in. And now we can actually go to our computer and we can apply the update. Okay, so now what I want you to do is navigate to that download folder on your computer where you downloaded that uh, update zip file. You'll see at the end it says LRX210 from KTU84P. What I want you to do is select the entire text and copy it to your clipboard. So make sure you copy that entire text file, um, file name to your clipboard. Uh, don't worry if it doesn't say .zip at the end, that's okay, we'll add that in if it doesn't. Uh, so just make sure you have all these letters and numbers, this string copied to your clipboard. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and cut this uh, update zip file, paste it into that Android SDK Windows folder and in the Platform Tools folder. So make sure you paste it into the Platform Tools folder after you have the ADB set up on your computer. So paste it in there, now we're ready to go. So what I want you to do is hold shift on your keyboard Press right click and press open command window here. So a command prompt's gonna open up, it's gonna look just like this. And now we're just gonna need to type one command and it's very simple actually. Um, you're gonna need to type ADB space side load space. Now what we need to do is paste that file into our command prompt that we just copied, the file name. We need to paste that file. So right click at the top of the command prompt, highlight edit and hit paste. Now you'll see after sideload it pastes in that file name. If at the end, for whatever reason, it doesn't say .zip, add .zip and make sure there isn't two .zips, just make sure at the end it does say .zip. And once you've done that, you can actually just press enter. What that's gonna do is send the file to our phone and then it's gonna actually give you a progress on the script, letting you know, um, you should see a percentage down at the bottom, it's a little blurry, but um, you'll see it's at 6% right now. So it's gonna take a bit of time, the file size is pretty large. Um, once this command prompt sends the file to our phone, we will be done actually. Um, and then it's gonna go ahead and apply the update on our phone. So once it sends the file over, I'll be right back. Okay, so now you'll see 100% done on the command prompt. You're pretty much done with the command prompt. Now we can go to our phone um, and you'll see it's now installing the update. You'll see a progress bar on the phone. You'll also see 
some text letting you know what it's actually doing, verifying system installing update. But again, this file is going to take a bit of time. Um, so be patient with it. Uh, my guess is it'll take maybe like three minutes. So I'll be back once it is done or nearing completion. All right, so you'll see install from ADB is complete. Uh, we're good to go. That's pretty much it. It didn't automatically reboot our device, but you'll see up the top, reboot system now is highlighted. So just go ahead and press the power button and that's gonna reboot our device. And that should be it. Uh, our device should now be on Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's gonna boot up. I'm gonna let it do its thing um, and I'll be back once it boots up to show you guys that once again that no data will be wiped. This boot up's gonna take a little bit longer than usual, so just kinda keep that in mind. And uh, that's it, I'll be right back. All right, phone's booted on up and we're done. As you can see, my icons are still messed up as they were before because no data got wiped. But we are now on Android 5.0 Lollipop. I can show you that by going into settings, about phone, Android version 5.0, model number Nexus 5. There you have it. You are now on Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Nexus 5 via the over-the-air update zip. Hopefully this video helped out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.